always been black. We don't think about it. It just is. And we were very cordial and said hello. And I worked on a, a project with her for um, ABC. Conservative group <laughs> Turning Point USA has condemned the group of neo-Nazis and said they have nothing to do with the organization. But you let them in. You let them in and you knew what they were. So you are complicit. Following these words, The View had to apologize after Turning Point USA threatened them with a lawsuit and even declared that they are ready for anything to protect their rights. However, even after the apology was made, they have something to look out for. Since co-host Whoopi Goldberg remained silent and did not apologize for her words about TPUSA being complicit with neo-Nazis coming to their event. Get ready for another exciting tale about Whoopi Goldberg and her less than friendly behavior. Remember Rosie O'Donnell, the person who used to host The View? Well, she's not keeping all the interesting details to herself. In a recent chat on Brooke Shields' podcast, Rosie shared some shocking stories about her tough time working with Whoopi. Trust me, this is a story you definitely won't want to miss. But of course, before I spill anything, make sure first that you subscribe to our channel and hit that notification bell for more updates and videos like this. Now let's dive in. Rosie O'Donnell recently shared her experience of being a co-host on The View, describing it as a terrible ordeal and expressing that she wouldn't want to participate in the show again. Rosie initially joined the talk show as the mediator in 2006, but her time there was short-lived. Reflecting on those days, Rosie revealed her reluctance to return due to certain individuals on the set who made the show's purpose difficult to bear. It's not hard to guess who Rosie is talking about, as it's quite evident that someone was exerting their influence to center the show around their own perspective. Recalling the intense arguments she had with Whoopi Goldberg, Rosie felt that participating in a show where she had to constantly debate and defend fundamental principles of humanity and kindness wasn't the best way for her to showcase her talents. This situation echoes past instances of others accusing Whoopi of being overly aggressive and unkind during the show. This isn't the first time fellow colleagues have raised concerns about her behavior and outbursts on television. I do. Yes. Yeah, 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 yeah. Come on, she knows too. That That's was... the thing, is that she knows. She knows exactly what I'm talking about. Okay. According to Rosie, her interactions with Goldberg on The View were the most unpleasant experiences she ever had on live television. This was because Whoopi seemed determined to undermine the show's purpose by focusing only on topics that suited her, disregarding important and controversial subjects. Rosie also mentioned that when Whoopi ran out of valid arguments, she would turn the conversation into a drama centered around herself. Rosie found it impossible to engage in discussions about the intriguing and disputed topics that interested her. This tension once escalated into a major argument between Rosie and Whoopi during a commercial break. You, you had said that she was just completely inaccessible and non-supportive. It was, it was rocky between she and I. One, she was upset with, like, I threw the commercial because I didn't know that she saw the countdown. The guy was, like, going like this. The conflict seemed to start when Whoopi abruptly cut off Rosie's discussion on the topic of spanking for a commercial break. Rosie was caught off guard because she didn't have an earpiece through which the producers could guide her. This made her feel disrespected by Whoopi's interruption. Politely expressing her upset feelings, Rosie confronted Whoopi about the interruption. Without explanation, Goldberg unleashed hell on her co-host, saying, I told you to leave it alone, and you just don't want to listen. If you want to go there, Rosie, I will. I'm really sick of your crap. Despite the outburst from her co-host, Rosie decided to maintain her professionalism. After the heated exchange, she returned to her seat at the table and carried on as if nothing had occurred. As Rosie said, she had never been looking for a feud, but apparently it was Whoopi's choice to act disrespectfully towards everyone on set. Listen, she's been there forever. Maybe that's normal. Relations between Rosie and Whoopi behind the scenes of The View have been strained right from the beginning of the season. You know, is it racist? Do you think it's racism? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I mean, I am, it's just crazy. You don't think I it's racist? Been... Sources suggested O'Donnell was not comfortable with being told what to say or how to behave. 
and she was unwilling to avoid discussing crucial subjects. Many believe that Whoopi tends to act in a demanding manner and puts producers in tough positions. It's come to light that Goldberg has even requested ABC to end her contract with the network and pay her the outstanding $10 million from her deal so she can leave the show. This is because she disliked working on the show alongside individuals like Rosie. You need to know what racism is. Racism is when somebody comes up and die. That's racism. Yeah. Amid the mounting public pressure for Whoopi to depart from the show, many individuals are commending Rosie for speaking out and revealing her colleague's true character. However, the tale doesn't conclude here. It turns out that Whoopi's dislike for Rosie was so intense that it extended to influencing one of her close friends, Ellen DeGeneres, to become prejudiced against Rosie. This unexpected feud between Rosie and Ellen has surprised many. Rosie recently shared the details of her clash with Ellen, a confrontation that unfolded years ago. In a recent interview, Rosie O'Donnell disclosed her formerly strong bond with Ellen DeGeneres and the subsequent deterioration of their relationship, partially attributed to Whoopi. The once solid friendship between Ellen and Rosie, which had been marked by mutual support on and off screen, experienced a breakdown. This occurred when Ellen's actions hurt Rosie's feelings, causing Ellen to distance herself due to apprehension. Apparently, when Ellen publicly acknowledged her own gender preference, she feared that people would speculate about her romantic involvement with Rosie. As a preemptive measure, Ellen publicly claimed not to know Rosie. Ellen said, and I'm quoting, I don't know Rosie. We're not friends. What happened? And it hurt my feelings like a baby, and I never really got over it. Reflecting on their tension, Rosie expressed her uncertainty about the cause, saying, I don't know if it's jealousy, competition, or the fact that she said a mean thing about me once that really hurt my feelings. Rosie said they remained out of contact until very recently, when Ellen sent her a text. She texted me a few weeks ago checking in, seeing how I'm doing, and I asked her how she's surviving not being on TV. This is why people can walk up to Obama and not look up at him and see that it's the But that's president. subconscious racism. That's, I'm yeah, sorry. If that, that, me and if me and a racist, but that's just me like me. According to Rosie's revelation, Ellen had been actively distancing herself for decades to the extent that Rosie's requests to appear as a guest on The Ellen DeGeneres Show were repeatedly turned down by Ellen's producers. Despite her numerous attempts, Rosie never got the chance to share the screen with Ellen during the show's 20-year run. These experiences contrasted with the positive aspects of Rosie's life, leaving her puzzled and disheartened. Rosie suspects that Ellen and Whoopi might have discussed her character, which could explain why Whoopi's behavior was so discourteous. While many fans consider Goldberg to be a voice of reason on the show, Rosie's recent disclosures suggest the contrary. It appears that the TV icon's primary aim is to secure a platform for expressing her biased viewpoints while making life difficult for other hosts. Rosie indicated that speaking her mind during the show felt futile, as Goldberg allegedly had prior agreements with the producers, resulting in discussions that were orchestrated rather than genuinely open and honest. Just like the incident involving Bill Cosby, where the host's statements were prearranged, Rosie was taken aback to learn that they weren't permitted to freely express their genuine thoughts. There was a time when Bill Cosby came on the show, and beforehand, there was a thorough discussion about what topics were suitable or not. This discussion happened without Rosie's knowledge until after the show had taken place. This experience left Rosie realizing that there were limitations on expressing her true opinions. Yes. Yeah, 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 yeah. Come on, she knows too. That That's was... the thing, is that she knows. She knows exactly what I'm talking about. Rosie now firmly believes that Whoopi aimed to stifle honest discussions by any means necessary. This could explain why Whoopi initiated conflicts and behaved disrespectfully towards her fellow hosts and guests. Considering the recent accusations and the growing number of unsettling accounts about Whoopi's inappropriate behavior, Rosie asserted that nobody else had treated her as harshly and impolitely as Goldberg. It's possible that Whoopi's secret agenda, perhaps in collaboration with the show's producers, was to be as unkind to her as anyone ever had been. Despite Whoopi's belief that her intense discussions were driving ratings to new heights, the reality is that she's now facing pressure to depart from The View. This pressure stems from a growing segment of viewers who have grown weary of her unending biased viewpoints and demeanor.
While Goldberg still retains a dedicated support base and a large number of fans, numerous individuals both within and outside the industry are starting to shed light on her genuine character, branding her as complex and essentially toxic. Even longtime fans of The View are opting out of watching the show if it continues to revolve around Whoopi's opinions and narrative. This signifies a substantial shift in public sentiment as people increasingly demand a more balanced and diverse representation of perspectives on the show. It's clear that there's a significant amount of discontent and backlash surrounding Whoopi Goldberg's role on The View. Both celebrities and the audience appear to be growing weary of her statements and behavior on the show. This kind of negative sentiment can certainly have an impact on the show's reputation and viewership. But what do you think about all these? That's all for today. We hope you enjoyed that video. And if you did, make sure you like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell for more videos like this.